everybody, it's time for NHL Games of the Week, where we look ahead to the upcoming week in the NHL and talk about which games I think are going to be the biggest, best, most important now in the playoff races and in the standings and most exciting, fun games to watch this week. So before we begin, I just ask you to please subscribe and hit that thumbs up if you haven't yet. It helps out an absolute ton and is greatly appreciated. Let's get into it. There are a ton of games this week. There were even some that I left off here that probably could have been on here, but this video is going to be obnoxiously long if I put every single one. So uh, we have a ton of games to get through, starting with today, uh, Sunday the 25th. Only one game really stands out to me, and that is the Bruins and the Penguins. This is a massive matchup in the East Division. Boston trying to hold on to that fourth playoff spot. Pittsburgh in a fight for at the top of the division with Washington and New York for the division lead. So huge, huge, huge game here, especially for the Bruins who are coming off a loss to the Sabres that they're certainly going to want to avenge. So huge game on uh, Sunday afternoon. I'll be streaming this one later and it's going to be a fun one. Moving on to tomorrow, the 26th, Monday, we have the Montreal Canadiens and the Calgary Flames. This is absolutely massive for that fourth place race in the north, and uh, Montreal's got to get their act together here if they're going to hold their playoff spot, because Calgary is coming after it, and uh, have picked up some big head-to-head -head wins over the Canadians. Another huge matchup here on Monday. Uh, Colorado and St. Louis. I don't really think I need to, t I think everybody knows why that's such a big game. St. Louis trying to get into the playoffs right now, a point out behind Arizona. However, they do have games in hand. Colorado fighting for the division lead. Big rivalry game. Going to be a great one. Carolina and Dallas. This is enormous in the central division, which you're going to see the central division a lot in this video because that race going on for fourth place between three teams is huge and then you also have a three-team race for first place trying to win the division so multiple races that are absolutely massive in the central and uh, Dallas is one of those teams trying to get into the playoffs Carolina is one of those teams trying to win the division currently in first huge game there speaking of the central we've got Florida and Nashville Florida, one of those teams trying to win the division. Nashville in the fourth spot right now, trying to hold it, trying to make the playoffs. Huge game for both of those teams. And then back up to the north, we have Edmonton and Winnipeg, the number two and number three team right now in the north division. Potential first round playoff matchup here, going to be a good one. Really evenly matched, fun teams to watch. Moving on now to the 27th, Tuesday, we have the Islanders and the Capitals. These teams have been playing quite a bit recently. Caps have been winning. Islanders, if they're going to win the division, need to pick up some head-to-head -head wins against the Caps. That hasn't been happening. So, um, you know, this is a big one at the top of the East with some big points on the line as far as final seeding goes. Boston and Pittsburgh plays again on Tuesday. Um, everything I said about the first matchup applies to the second one. Huge game there, particularly for the Bruins. They cannot afford to lose both of these games against the Penguins. They're going to have to win at least one, if not both. If they do win both, then they almost pulled themselves into... Uh, the race at the top as well, and it would really be all four playoff teams in the East not that far apart from each other. Could be a wild ending to the standings in that division. Uh, Florida and Nashville play again, so everything about the first matchup applies to the second one, as does Carolina and Dallas. Those are just massive Central Division games with a lot on the line for all teams involved. Moving on now to Wednesday the 28th, we have the Minnesota Wild and the St. Louis Blues. This is huge out west as the Wild have clinched a playoff spot and they're pretty much locked into that number three position. This is huge for St. Louis who needs to get into the playoffs, needs to get into that fourth spot. They've got to pass Arizona. They're going to have to pick up some big wins to do it, potentially here against Minnesota. Toronto and Montreal. I mean, massive rivalry game. Uh, huge, huge matchup. But particularly for Montreal, again, they need wins. They need to get their act together, figure out how to get some points on the board. Uh, because Calgary and Vancouver are trying to catch them. 
And if uh, if the Canadians keep losing like they have been, they could find themselves out of the playoffs. Another matchup on Wednesday between the Oilers and the Jets. Again, just a great matchup there. Number two and number three team in the division. And uh, potential first round playoff matchup as well. That should be a lot of fun. And then Colorado and Vegas, two of the best teams in the league, two of the best teams in the West, fighting for first place. This is going to be a huge, huge game uh, Wednesday night. I'm really, really excited for that. And uh, that's just two of the best teams going at it, and that is always great hockey. Thursday, the 29th, we have the Dallas Stars and the Tampa Bay Lightning. This is massive again for Dallas. I mean, Tampa obviously is trying to get some points and climb the division standings and win the division. But for Dallas, I mean, every game at this point that they play is so, so important because of the playoff race. And they need every point that they can get, along with a couple other teams in the Predators and the Blackhawks who are in the same situation fighting for that final playoff spot. So huge game for Dallas to try and steal a win against the Lightning and and move closer to making the postseason. Pittsburgh and Washington play each other. These are the top two teams in the East Division right now. Um, Obviously, there's a huge natural rivalry already between these teams. Now you throw in the race for first place. It's going to be intense. It's going to feel like a playoff game. There's a lot on the line. And anytime those two teams meet up, it's usually a good time. St. Louis and Minnesota play again. So again, everything about the first matchup applies to this one. Huge game for for St. Louis um, trying to get into the playoffs. We have the Battle of Alberta on Thursday night. Calgary and Edmonton. That is an absolutely huge one. Um, again, you know, you have the Oilers who are going to make the playoffs, but then Calgary is trying to come and take that fourth spot and knock Montreal out. Uh, absolutely huge game here for the Flames and against their arch rival as well. And also we have Florida and Chicago on Thursday night. That's a huge matchup for the Blackhawks. Obviously, Florida is trying to win the division. The points are important to them too. But Chicago has fallen back a little bit in that race for fourth spot. They're behind Nashville by five points now, I believe. So Um, they're going to need to steal some wins here down the stretch if they're going to be the team that makes the playoffs and try and catch Dallas and catch Nashville. So this would be a great opportunity. Friday the 30th, only four games in the league that night and only one that really jumps out to me, and that is Vegas and Arizona. Arizona is fighting for the playoffs just like St. Louis is in that West Division looking for that fourth spot. Arizona needs every point that they can get because St. Louis has games in hand. So um, this would be a huge opportunity for the Coyotes to steal a win against a very, very tough opponent. And at the same time for Vegas, I mean, they're locked into the playoffs, but they're trying to win the division. Them in Colorado are clearly the going back and forth the class of that division at the top. And uh, this would be a big opportunity for Vegas to get two points that they should get. And finally, that brings us to Saturday, the uh, 1st, May 1st. I cannot believe we are already to May. 2021 is flying by. Uh, But we have Pittsburgh and Washington again. Again, massive rivalry, fighting for first place. Everything about the first matchup applies. Huge game there. St. Louis and Minnesota, this is their third time playing this week. We've talked already a lot about how much those games mean for the Blues. Dallas and Nashville right now, the fourth place team in Nashville, the fifth place team in Dallas, fighting for the last playoff spot. I believe they're separated by two points, if I'm not mistaken. Just absolutely huge game there that will have a large effect on who makes the playoffs and who does not. Vegas and... Arizona, again, they play back-to-back, a huge game, particularly for the Coyotes there. Everything about the first matchup applies to the second one. Battle of Alberta, again on Saturday night. Again, massive for the Flames. They need every point that they can get to try and steal this playoff spot from Montreal. And, of course, it's the Battle of Alberta. They're arch rivals and always great to watch. And Florida and Chicago play again as well. So everything about the first matchup applies to The second, Chicago really needs a win there because no matter what, somebody, either Dallas or Nashville, is getting a point out of that 
game against each other, or getting two points, I mean, out of that game against each other. Worst case scenario would be that game going to overtime for Chicago, because then both teams would get at least a point. But um, Chicago needs to keep pace and get two points out of that game against Florida if they're going to keep up and, and make the and make the playoffs this year. So those are the games of the week for this week. There are a lot of them. There were some other matchups I probably could have added, but this was a massive week to begin with, and I didn't want this video to go obnoxiously long. So tons of great hockey to watch this week. Tons of great matchups. Playoff races all over the board. Every division, fourth place, up for grabs. And um, it's going to be another really, really fun week of NHL hockey. So like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, links to our Patreon merchandise store donation link and channel memberships are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.